What do we have on here now? Uh, this is a Bravo Company gunfighter charging handle. Set up for right-handed people, obviously. Yeah, it's just a standard right-handed charging handle. Uh, come back, grab it this way, T-handle it, come back, knife edge. I was just playing with it for the first hand. time, and I like it. It seems strong. Like you say, it doesn't come all the way back, so it stops. Mm -hmm. A little sharp, though. I think I would probably radius yeah. it a little bit. It's not bad for me being left-handed. Um, makes it a little bit easier to come back and rack it, and it takes some of the stress off the back. Uh, you don't kind of loosen the pin or anything just because it's binding on that. It actually makes contact inside here with some little cutouts, so it makes it a little bit stronger overall. It doesn't scrape on the top here. Yeah, it doesn't scrape there either. Um, so you're going to take that off, though, and replace it with what now? Well, a few years ago, I ended up picking up a uh, Badger Ordnance ambidextrous charging handle. And that's what I'm playing with here? Yeah. That's just their standard model. So it basically leaves the left side the same, and yeah. then on the right side it gives you another. Yeah. It's actually pin pivoted inside of here with a little cutout and a piece, so that when you pull on the right side, it actually flexes the left side as well. But the so problem with that was... Throw it in here. I like the concept that it's both and not going from left to right or vice versa. So you yeah, it doesn't just either. make it on the right side. So a right-hander or a left-hander could still use this, or if you weren't used to it, you could still come over and rack it or sure, uh, you forget or come this way if you need to. Side. Yeah. The problem with this is the Ford Assist right here is kind of in the way. So to come up and grab it, it's kind of hard because you've got the front, the rear buoy overhanging the Ford Assist. And there's just a tiny little bit of area to get in there to do that. Yeah, but with this down, isn't that even worse on some of them? Yeah, if this, like yeah, if this is down, it overhangs even a little bit more there, and it makes it even harder to get in here and with kind gloves, of grab that. And if you're wearing gloves, it's knuckle. almost impossible to do this, and I end up having to come over and charge it like that or come off the gun and charge it with my left hand if I had to. So that didn't stay on the gun that long. I was it really promise, unhappy but with that. Perfect. Yeah. So, so they came out with this. My initial thought when I had bought this and ran into that issue was if I could just flip, say like a PRI uh, latch over on the other side, then it would work. But once I took the pins out and pulled these apart and see how they pivoted on each other, there was no making one of those work. And now this year, Badger Ordnance has their, like a Gen 1 latch that fits on the right side. You can see their little channel cut out there that pivots on the other one and just goes in place right there. Hopefully that'll stick out enough. It'll be a lot easier to grab and cycle there. It's going to give you all the advantages of having that normal side or standard side mm -hmm. and then give you that extended reach beyond that. Yeah. Stupid charging. stopping it. So it's a pin just like a typical or is there more going on in there? Yeah, it's just a standard uh, charging handle uh, lateral pin there. That punch here is a little stiff going in there. Can pull that out there. Can actually pull the other side apart and sh show you guys how they match up here. Now this isn't necessary for the conversion, we're just doing this to take a look. Yeah. Everything inside, standard charging handle uses their standard uh, spring that goes in there. But when these are kind of merged in there, this one will pull away and then this one's pivoted. So when you push on this one, it tweaks the other one out. And Pretty clever. Kind of works something like that. Kind of a neat idea, and now that this is available out there, it'll work just like that. So we can put all this back together here. So 
sometimes this can be a little bit of a pain. I usually try to line the hole up, push the punch through from the back side. That way it holds the latch in place. I see. And then you just swap it out with the pin. And you just started it with one of these uh, roll pin punches. And if it's, it looks like if you just assembled it like that and didn't put the other side in, it would still operate. Yeah, it'll still operate like a normal charging handle, just like that. If you didn't need that in there. It's a little weird because it's just a little lip in there that the spring is pushing against, but it's still working all right. from the back side. Alright, that's kind of cool. Definitely clears it, huh? Yeah, definitely sticks out a lot past the Ford Assist here. Makes it a lot easier to get onto like this. That I, I like. could even come back and smack it like that if I had to. That's, that's, that's a lot. That looks like it makes a nice right hander. That is really gun. cool. No. If you're right yeah, if you're right hander, you can still operate this just like normal, coming back like that, doing however you needed to do it on that. or. I am really kind of digging that. We're gonna now, have to what take is this that out and charging it handle and new lever going to run me? Because I think I want one of those too. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how the price is offhand. It's been a while since I picked up the charging handle. And, Super expensive. Uh, didn't like really it, bad. so I just put it away. It's not too bad. Uh, you know, a normal charging handle probably costs you twenty to thirty bucks. Uh, I'm sure it's probably somewhere in that range. I think the tactical latches for the left-handed ones are probably running probably 24 25 bucks somewhere in that range so this was something brand new they debut, de debuted at shot or yeah actually walked up to the table at shot and asked them if they were going to come out with one of these because they had a charging handle laying on the table and a uh, guy moved some stuff and they had one of these laying right next to it that i didn't see and i uh, thought that was really cool Okay, I like that a lot. <laughs> The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.